Still they come, these Americanos and their covered wagons. Pedro, the days of the dons are numbered. Why do you say that, me patron? Too much money is made our people soft. Hmm. Our days are siestas. Our nights fiestas. We are no match for these lean, hungry gringos. What they want, they take. And soon they will have all of Alta California. I told you I'd get you through to California without no trouble, and by cracky, I'd done it. Yeah, no trouble to speak of, except the five days we was lost. Who's lost? Shucks, that was just a trick I figured out. I'm supposed to rest the horses. Chief General. Oh. Got the general in here, eh? Here we are all doing a good job, and you riding in the wagon with a woman. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Please, Uncle Gabby, he's tired. How can he be? Rode all the way from my way. You know, you're fixing to spoil the best bloodhound I ever owned. Come on, get your lady bones out of there. Uncle Gabby, it's hot out there. Well, he'll do him good. Got to get his exercise, ain't he? There's that side road you've been looking for. Yep. That's the road to the Vargas Rancho. You know that ranch runs clear and through from the mountains to the sea? I tell you, that Vargas family is the biggest toads in the whole California puddle. I suppose you're going to see that young man that you've been bragging about ever since we left. Well, why shouldn't I brag about Roy Rogers? I brought him out here in 46. And, and I, I learned, learned him everything he knows. Well, I did. Now he's the top rider of the whole darn hacienda. You just keep the wagon on this road, you run into that camp place I told you about. All right, Dr. Gabby. Oh, on my horse, I am again young. Is there word from Carlos and the men? Not yet. They should be returning soon. I'll wager Carlos has learned much from Rogers on his first cattle drive. You are so proud of those two. Sometimes it is difficult to remember which one is your son. Our cattle, she is sold, Marquero. Our banks are filled with gold, Marquero. So let your heart go cold, Marquero. Side by side, let us ride beneath the skyline. Let the sun fill our song full of laughter. We'll be home in the shade of the twilight. A camel. A senorita sighs, a camel. With love light in her eyes, a camel. Under starry skies, Vaquero, the moon she will be shining tonight. Ride each mile with a smile, mi amigo. Sing your song as you ride on the prairie. <laughs> Clear the way, hard to sing as we go, Vaquero. And soon the trail must end, Vaquero. The sun she will descend, Vaquero. Love waits so I pretend, Vaquero. The moon she will be shining tonight. 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 
Roy, you ride on. Don Jose must be anxious to hear from us. I wouldn't blame him. We've been gone over two months. Come on, Trigger. The best. Carlos is only a few miles back on the Mesa Grande. Your cattle sure brought a big price at the Sonora Mines. Carlos is bringing home 40,000 pesos. 40,000? <laughs> and to think that before the gringos found gold, cattle were worth only their hides and tallow. <laughs> the gringos are good for something. Well, useful. I, I have good news, too. Rita is coming home. I'll sure be glad to see your daughter again. Mm. Two long years in Europe. We must outdo ourselves. I have sent riders from here to San Diego to every rancher. Tomorrow night, El Fandango will celebrate her homecoming. Gabby, you old horse thief! Boy, young old maverick, you've sprouted like a toadstool. You're just as hungry as ever, you old moth-head. Go oh, on, you young broomtail. Roy, are you going to let him insult you like that? Oh, shucks, that don't mean nothing. That just shows we like each other. What are you doing in California, Gabby? Oh, fetching out another herd of greenhorns in their covered wagon. But what of Carlos? Where is he? Well, he must be passing the south end of the Mesa Grande by now. <laughs> Where are you going? My work is done. Yours begins. You're staying here to do your share of the fighting. Suppose they recognize me. It will spoil your chances of other aids, and uh, <laughs> who can advise you better than me? Don Jose's own Major Domo, huh? You think plenty fast, don't you, Sawara? I will come to the usual place tomorrow, huh? Yeah, you'll get your share, all right. Yeah. I never did see a half-breed that wasn't yellow. All right, man, let's take that gold. Carlos, what happened? The Corretto was robbed. Habaqueros killed. Who has dared? They were gringos. Take him in. Take him in. Vidardo. These gringos, the more they increase in number, the bolder they get. Worse than bold, Don Jose. They must have known that gold was on its way. They might even have been informed by someone in your employ. 
Perhaps I know where to find those Americanos. A few miles west, three covered wagons. No, no, they. Go and search them. If you find any evidence of guilt, I know what to do. Come. Those people are only poor immigrants who came out here to find new homes. Then my overseer would not harm them. But Sawara hates all Americans. He'll go farther than your orders. I shall not interfere, Roy. Then I will. Jose, will there be more fighting? I hope not, Felicia. But something must be done to stop these ruthless gringos before they drive us out of California. Well, did you find him? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, I found him. Big as Billy be darned and twice as handsome. We gotta get him away from some highfalutin' Spanish gal, though. Oh. Uh, you better get all rigged up in your best bib and tucker. You know that nice one you bring all the way from Iowa? As if I cared. <laughs> Here he comes and he's bringing his army. Well, that ain't Roy. You might have been in trouble. Yeah, we better get all set just in case. What do you want? We are going to search the camp. Yeah? Who might you be? The foreman of this rancho. What are you looking for? The gringos who held up and robbed our gold careta. Let me remind you that California is now a state in the union and we have legal rights. Start the search. We, uh... Can they try it? Let them have it, boy. Debbie, please. We committed no crimes. We've nothing to fear. Nah, it always takes a female to spoil the fun. You are very smart. Too smart. I have orders to search you. Get him, General! I told you not to interfere. I won't see these people treated this way, Don Jose. You take their side against me. What do you expect? He is in with these outlaws. Why else you think he left the gold careta just before it was attacked? But these men aren't outlaws. I know my own people. You hear what he say? His own people. <laughs> After all, he is a gringo, you know. And the only one I trust. Now, you have turned against me, like all the others. You leave me no choice, Roy. You are forbidden to return to my hacienda. I'm sorry if that's the way it has to be. Mount and ride. Roy, you've done the right thing. Oh, you'll be better off settling down with Gene in hell. Gene, I want you to meet Roy Rogers. Roy, it's my niece. Pleased to meet you, Jean. How do you do, Roy? Shucks, you two ought to get along just like that span of mules over there. <laughs> They've been wearing the same harness for 11 years. Uncle Gabby, please. Well, you're staying along with us, ain't you? We better get out of here before dark. This would be a bad place to be dry ghost. Well, where should we camp? I'll show you. All right, everybody. We're breaking camp.
From where you are, you hear that dreamy guitar. Melody seems to say right on the carol. My skies are blue, my senorita is true, saying a prayer for you right on the table. From where you are, you hear that dreamy guitar. You know, I can always see things in a campfire. Home, Iowa, tall fields, the waving corn, and the faces of people I, I may never see again. It does kind of spread things out for you, that. Only I seem to see a future. You know, I, I got a little piece of land down in Old Caliente, right near San Diego. Fine, rich, rolling mason. Just the place for a herd of cattle. One of the best mountain streams you ever saw. I'm gonna build me a home on a hill. Just what it'll look like. Not big at first, but plenty of room for it to grow. Well, I suppose that great country for a man, but a woman. You feeling homesick? How could I feel otherwise? That reception we got today. Wish I hadn't listened to Uncle Gabby. Wish I'd stayed home. California isn't such a bad place, once you get used to it. It is peaceful. Listen to those waves. Kind of makes you sleepy, doesn't it? What about those stars? What's that? Oh, just an earthquake. Look! Oh, lay down, quit squinting and freeze. You're shaking the whole way. Oh, I'm glad that's over with. Well, Rita, he... Uh, Roy's gone, Rita. Oh, but, Father, where and why? 
It is my wish, Rita, that his name is no longer mentioned in our household. Shall we go in? Sundown on the rangeland, and we're heading down the trail. Get along, old pal, to the big corral while the trail is light. Sundown on the rangeland, and the herd is looking frail. Hear that maverick fall, he'll be missing his maw tonight. Lucy, Lucy, jogging across the plains. Lucy, Lucy, to the squeaking of the saddle and the rattling reins. Sundown on the rangeland, now the sky is looking pale. Get along, get along, get along, old pal, down the trail. That's enough of that now. You scare every deer out of the country. You scared him away. I already had that venison net. Yeah, but look. Yeah, that's funny. I wonder if he fell. Oh, it ain't likely he'd fall. That was Sawara. You know, the one that accused me of knowing something about that gold robbery. Maybe he had something to do with it. Did you notice the way the general barked at him yesterday? I tell you, that dog's a powerful judge of human nature. Never makes a mistake. Why, I've seen him pick a crook right out of a crowd. Yeah, but let's go see where he went. The general will trace him for us. Come on, boy. Let's get him. Hurry up. That way, you rattle brain digits. Can't you even follow a man's trail? Here's yours, Zora. You hold my services very poorly, Senor Curly. Well, what did you expect? We did the fighting. Yes, you did the fighting, but you also agreed to get Rogers and Young Vargas. Yes, I know. But the next time, you better stay and take your chances with us. Maybe you can get them. Maybe I can. Maybe I will. Go away, General. You bother me. Where's Solara? Who's Solara? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to take this gold to the Don and bring him back here and show him who stole it. I'll take care of him when you get back. Here, yeah, yeah, here. Let go of that, will you? What ails you anyhow? You 
Come on, get over there. Someone's heading this way. It's Don Jose. Yeah. Thought you had us, didn't you? <laughs> Clear out of here. I will take care of this. Right. We heard shot. My shot, Don Jose. Look in these saddlebags and you will find your gold. Why, you wall-eyed weasel? Don't listen to him, Donald Zay. We just trailed him to the cave and... Look. Take them to the casa. Confine them in the vault. Si, senor. So, my gringo friends, tomorrow your necks will be considerably longer. <laughs> And now, Aunt Felicia, tell me about Roy. Again? Oh, Rita, why do you coax? When you know your father has forbidden. But I insist upon knowing. <laughs> Out with it. Tell me the truth. The gold Coretta was robbed by the Americanos, and Sawara accused Roy of helping them. I don't believe it. Perhaps you will. They say there's a beautiful girl with the Americanos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're general. Where's Roy? Where's Uncle Gabby? Something must have happened to them. Helen! sure built this place so nobody could get in. Yeah, you're just wasting your time trying to get out. I wonder what'll happen to Gene when they string us up to Cottonwood tomorrow. Cottonwood? Why, the Cottonwood was never grown. It could hang me. Mucho gracias, senorita. But we're not coming out to dance tonight. Oh, I must admit I'd love it, but there's be no plenty of it. And we're not coming out, we're not coming out tonight. 
Let each cavalero take his share of freedom. In the meantime, serve the each, cause we sure need them. You'll be sorry, senorita, cause we're not coming out to dance tonight. If they want us, senorita, they'd be fools if they took a chance tonight. Cause we're two impatient critters, Mr. All's not gold that glitters, and we're not coming out, we're not coming out tonight. Tell the major domo he'll be 38 and we're sure the skunks and him are all related. Mucho gracias, senorita, but we're not coming out to dance tonight. We're not coming out, we're not coming out tonight. A young lady to see you, Don Jose. A gringa. Send her away. These Americanos no longer deserve our hospitality. We uh, have made friends of them, and they have stolen our land, threatened our very homes. But may the throne, she will not leave. There's an Americana at the door. See that she leaves immediately. But Don Jose will see no one. But he will if you tell him it's a matter of life and death. It is impossible. I must ask you to leave. Well, you can't keep me from him. I'll take care of this, Manuel. But, senorita, you... The house of Vargas has never turned anyone in trouble from their door. You may go. Si, sí, senorita. It's my uncle. He's in trouble, and he's the only one I have to depend on. If anything happened to him, I... My father will see you. No. Are you with him? Father, you must see this girl. Can't we even have our fandango without these Americanos thrusting themselves upon us? Oh, no. Has my father lost his heart for the poor and unfortunate? She's in great trouble. For me, father? If you can only handle a husband as cleverly as you do your old father. <laughs> All right, I will see her. But my uncle didn't leave the wagons until late yesterday afternoon, when he came here to see Roy. He couldn't be in two places at once. No, I don't know. You bring you Americanos off and accomplish the impossible. Well, Uncle Gabby may not be perfect, but... Well, he's certainly not a thief. Then? How did they get possession of my gold? Well, did you ask them? Did you let them explain? No. But, uh, Sawaro said... I'll see them now. Thanks so much, Don Jose. There, there, my child. If, if they're guiltless, you shall see them soon. Come. Entertain this young lady, please. because a charming young Americana has persuaded me to listen to your story. Jeannie? Yes.
Charles at the Del Mar Brothers with the outlaws. Yeah, and we surprised them splitting up the loot. If you let us out, maybe we could prove it. I should have known better than to trust the half-breed. Very well. I shall release you. But if anything happens to Roy, Uncle Gabby. I'll try to help them, but you must leave. Carlos, your father's dead. Father! What has happened? My father's been killed. <gasps> Look. Your father's gone. The Don came down here alone, didn't he? Yes. But the shots were fired from the passageway. I couldn't see who it was. It was two shots and then the gun was thrown in. No. You could not see who it was because Don Jose came to talk to you. You seized him and you murdered him with his own gun. loved you like his own son. I know you wouldn't kill him. What I want to find out is how you got in here so quick. The way you're going out. Go ahead, Gabby. Uh, no, sir. I ain't going to leave you alone with this here female. Roy, where will you hide? The Delmar brothers. Uh, wh where's Jean? I sent her back to your camp. She'll be safe there. I worry about now, your brother, so young, hot-headed, without food or sleep, night and day, he rides, combing the hills for Roy. Charles, you're behaving like a child instead of as the head of the House of Barbara. Hermanito, give up this search. You're wrong about Roy. He was our friend. He was our friend. You're trying to protect him. I know how I shall find him. From now on, I ride alone. Sense than I have. 
Uncle Gabby, where's Roy? I can't tell you. Why? Well, he skinned me alive. He knowed it was here. I, I snuck out when he was asleep. Well, is he safe? Sure, he's safe. Safe and hungry. I come over to rough him up from grub and get my gun. You going to take me with you? I can't do it. Oh, Uncle Gabby, please. You have a horse while I get a basket of food. I can't do it, I tell you. Oh, please, Uncle Gabby. Oh, all right. Get a wiggle on you. Roy, Roy, Peter, what are you doing here? Oh, I had to risk it. You sure picked a dangerous time in the middle of the night alone. It was necessary. See, there are things we both must know. I can only talk to Carlos alone. He has only one bad idea, and that's to kill you on sight. He won't listen to anybody. Not even to me. I told you not to bring her here. Oh, how are you going to argue with a female when she made up her mind? Well, as long as I'm not wanted. No, you don't. Son, you don't know nothing about women. Well, I'm learning plenty. Get over there. It's you, Carlos. Reach for that gun. Why didn't you murder me as you did my father? Carlos, I loved your father. Perhaps as much as you did. Do you still think I murdered him? Here. I'm sure it was Sawara that killed your father. Suaro? How do you know? We almost had proof that he was in with the outlaws that raided the gold Coretta. We were telling your father about it when he was shot. Suaro killed him to protect himself? Yeah, that's what we figured. But we've got to have more definite proof. Come on inside. Here they come, taming a couple of hood owls. Carlos. <laughs> You were right, Rita. What we've got to do is round up some war on these men. Well, that's more like it. I've been spoiling for a good fight. I've got it, Carlos. You're taking the biggest herd of cattle north that was ever hazed into Sonora. Wait, no. They robbed us once, they'll try it again. Come, Rita. I'll meet you in the foothills beyond the Mesa Grande. Buenas noches, Roy. Well, you certainly talked yourself out of that, didn't you? Uh, what? Why, that was the biggest bluff I ever see. You know that gun wasn't loaded when you give it to him. <laughs> Can't fool me, boy. No. Oh. Well, I do, Gabby. She's fainting. Figure it out yourself, son. I'm hungry. Did you have any trouble with the world? No, he decided to stay at the Hacienda. That's a funny way to take payment for your cattle. But the gold will be waiting at the smelter. Shall we load it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, 
Jimmy, give me a hand here. Our cattle, she is sold, the carol. Our bags are filled with gold, the carol. Don't let your heart grow cold, the carol. The moon, she will be shining tonight. Side by side, let us ride in the skylight. Let the sun fill our song full of laughter. <laughs> we'll be home in the shade of the twilight. Then you read the size of Kero, with love light in the eyes of Kero, and under starry skies of Kero, the moon she will be shining tonight. Right, The credit is coming. How many men? Only a handful. They will not give you any trouble. You take all the profit, and we take all the chances. You would all be swinging if I had not closed the mouth of Don Jose. Here they come. Why is it delayed? That weighs about 200 pounds. It is a trap. Trap or no trap, we're taking it with us. It's gold. Bring your horse over here. Boys, give me a lift with this thing. Is everyone here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. All right. Come on, hurry up. Be careful, I don't drive it again. Well, you see, I told you, look. Catch up with him, Roy? Yeah. He went down out there and didn't come up. Probably hit his head on one of them rocks. Served him right. He had it coming to him. Tell him what you told me. Samara told us he killed Anozai. I was hoping you wouldn't. 
My trigger finger's been itching to... Adios, Roy.